What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is the day that we give our proposition to Zelena. This is something we've hinted about for the last couple of weeks. It's something that I've been putting a lot of thought behind and this is something that I believe Zelena could do to clear his name. So after some careful consideration and some real good details gone into this, I think the proposition is only fair. If Zelena really isn't cheating and he has nothing to hide, then this proposition is definitely going to be one that he wants to do. Because hey, it'll clear his name and it will stop people pointing the finger at him if he does just this. Now, we all remember some time ago when Zelena decided to call me out and offer to fly me over to Canada. Out of my account, whatever they would need to do to figure out if I have in the past or now in the present, am hacking, whatever it takes. And finally, I have done like I said, everything that I feel like I can do to prove my innocence. Other than literally having my accusers like BBB come here, sit in this chair, and literally use my setup, my controller, my everything for themselves, absolutely shit the bed because they're dog water, and then me pick the controller up right in front of their face and show them that I can drop a 30 or 40 bomb right in front of their face. Like, that, that is the lot. That's the only thing I haven't done. And you know what? With that said, with that said, I have a final, final proposition in this video. A final proposition towards BBB himself. If you really, truly believe that I am a hacker, then I totally, totally expect you to oblige. I totally expect you to probably say yes to this. Um, and But again, I, I don't think you that you think that. So, uh, with that said, my proposition to Bad Boy BBB is that I will pay a flight for you to come to my hometown we could set up a an, an area, a controlled environment where you know everything, what everything's going on. You could sit down at the PC. You can bring your film crew. I'll have my film crew so the evidence lines up because we know you've manipulated stuff in the past. We're not going to allow that to take place. I'll make sure to have the footage. So our footage, our footage lines up. You come here. You can sit down at my setup. You can use whatever you need to. Well, not here at my house, of course, but you know we'll go somewhere in a controlled environment, set it all up. You can use my setup, play a game yourself if you need to. And then right after that, I'll hop on the same exact setup and drop a bomb right in front of your face. And when I do that, you have to delete your YouTube channel. That's the proposition. Come down, see it firsthand. When I prove to you, I think you already know that I am not hacking, but once I prove it to your face, I just need it to be out there so everyone knows this. Once I prove that to you, you have to delete your YouTube channel. That's it. This offer was pointless at the time, and it is still pointless to this day. However, at the time, we were all in pandemics, in lockdowns, all in different countries, of course, and there were restrictions to the flight, so I wasn't able to fly over to Canada. But even if I was, I was never going to do that, and simply because nobody has ever denied the fact that Zelena is a good player, and I've always said this throughout the whole journey. But there is just something that seems off about his gameplay, and he seems to have done all of these things in a manner which seemed calculated, almost as if smoke and mirrors, just like Pudding said, just like Hop and Dude has said, and just like many other content creators have said across this past two years of Zelena having the most suspicious gameplay, he doesn't respond directly. Who remembers the situation with Swag? It looked like he had a strike pack due to a blue light on the back of his controller. Swag is probably the most paid Call of Duty streamer at this moment in time. The next day, after I put a video out showing the light in the back of his controller and comparing it to a strike pack saying that they look similar, Swag instantly mentioned that and responded to that in his follow-up YouTube video the next day. It was in the intro to his YouTube video and he actually showed a blue light coming from the back of his scuff controller because a paddle had been taken out. And that is how you deal with something head-on. But Zelena takes months here, a couple of weeks there, and when it actually comes to time for him to actually respond, or to do anything, it just doesn't seem right. So let's talk about the time we started mentioning his left monitor. This guy has been known to be looking to his left during gunfights, after gunfights, prior to gunfights, and he claimed it to be to do with Discord. He's making sure he's not muted. There's been times where he does it when he's currently in a chat with somebody, so there's a back and forth. He knows he's not muted. The other person can hear him, but he's still looking left. There's been times where he's made callouts about enemies being all over the place in the area without a UAV active. There's been so many situations that led people to believe that Zelena was in fact using the SP wall hacks. Whether that be on his main monitor or a separate monitor. However, the fact that he continuously looked to his left showed that maybe it was on his left monitor. 
And again, Zelena took some time, of course, took a couple of weeks, maybe a month or two, to actually come up with an idea of how to respond to those claims. Because a lot of people started to notice the fact that his eyes and head twisted too far to the left for him to be looking at his minimap. So we put out the video. He had a webcam set up, an eye tracker set up, but the webcam was only behind him on half of his main monitor and his left monitor. Now, does that disprove anything? No, it doesn't. And the reason for that is simple. He can quite easily swap anything from his left monitor over to his right monitor or his center monitor. If you have more than one monitor set up to an individual PC, you can literally drag it from one monitor to the other monitor and drop it over there. So what Elaine has actually done is put a webcam behind him, showing only his left monitor and a part of his main monitor, which would allow him to still use his right monitor. Did he look to his left monitor during that whole stream where he actually had it on show? No, not like he does when he twists his head to the left when there's no webcam behind him. Now, I thought we were onto something. When he said that he was going to put a webcam behind him, I was genuinely excited to see whether or not this guy could keep up appearance, keep putting out the same level of gameplay. But he didn't have the webcam in the right place. So you know where we're going with this proposition now, guys. However, there are a couple of things we will be mentioning as well. Who remembers the incident where he did have that webcam up, where he did have an eye tracker, but he still somehow managed to snap onto an enemy? Now that video to me was probably the most damning because that would show that maybe he wasn't running walls at that time, but decided to turn the aimbot up and that is what caused that aim to lock onto the player. We even had the likes of Rara jumping in on the mix to try and defend Zelena but was actually proven to be wrong. He tried to claim the clips were manipulated. However, in the video that we put out on that specific moment, we actually linked Zelena's very own stream along with the timestamp in the pinned comments and the description so people could go ahead and see on YouTube that Zelena's own gameplay showed that exact snap. So now we've got all that out of the way, this is the proposal. First of all, I want you Zelena to set up a webcam behind you. Not so that we can only see one and a half of your monitors, no. We need to be able to see your whole setup. Any monitors, any devices on your desk, any keyboards, any mouses, any controllers, anything that's under your desk. Now this might seem like a big ask, but it's been done by many streamers in the past. Even Mutex went out of his way to set up a five camera setup to prove that nothing was running whilst he was playing the video game that is Call of Duty Warzone. However, that still didn't disprove the fact that he had Cronus Pro on his desktop, but his camera setup was pretty well off and it was very good. But see, Lena, you haven't actually had Cronus Pro on your desktop now. So this would most definitely disprove any accusations against you wall hacks set up a camera put it behind you so everything is visible your whole setup every monitor anything under your desk anything that's on your desk and so on and i think it's only fair that we get to see the controller cam as well throughout because what we saw in that moment last time you did an eye tracker and monitor cam show the snap to an enemy and that is still something that i will be keeping an eye on however this proposal isn't just for you to do this on a one-off stream or even just for a week now my proposal is that you set that webcam up or multiple webcams if necessary to show everything that needs to be shown and leave it there for the foreseeable future if you have absolutely nothing to hide there is absolutely no reason you cannot put that webcam behind you and show your whole setup What's it going to do other than prove your innocence if you are in fact innocent? And if money is a problem in buying more webcams to help you set up this whole thing to prove your innocence, I will personally buy and send to you the webcams required to cover everything on your setup. And from the day that you decide to set this up, I will be keeping an eye on your stats. And for the three month period, I will be checking the difference between your stats. And then again, after the six month period, I will do the same. And during this time, I will not put a single video out about your gameplay. I will let this run its course. Three month period, I'll do a little check. Six month period, I'll do another check. Twelve month period, 
I will do another check because hey, like we said, if you have absolutely nothing to hide, there is no reason why you cannot put that camera up behind you, showing absolutely everything on your setup for the foreseeable future. There is no reason that you need to do that for just one week. No reason you need to do that for just one day when you can put it up there and prove everyone wrong every single day for the rest of your streaming career. So whilst your proposal to me was simply directed at me with the full intention of you trying somehow to get my channel shut down, that is not my intention here. My intention to you with this proposal is to simply allow you the opportunity to prove your innocence to your fans and to anybody else who may question your gameplay. This is giving you the opportunity to showcase your gameplay and show that you are legit if in fact you are. And if not, if it comes out in the end that you are cheating, if your stats drastically drop based on the stats that we see over a three month period, six month period, and then a 12 month period, well, I'm not gonna ask you to delete your channel, no. All I ask is that you apologize to everybody you've lied to for this whole time. Just a couple more things to be noted before we wrap up this video. Out of all the different cheats that are available, Aimbot is probably the easiest to detect visually. So I will be keeping an eye on the gameplay as I mentioned earlier. Anything that I do see will be logged. And if your stats do continue to increase or stay at the same level, and I would send you the file full of all the clips that I've seen across the period of 12 months and give you the opportunity to break them down individually for me and explain any glitches or bugs or snaps or anything of the such that is seen. And let me explain this to you, Zelena. If you can do everything that's been asked in this video today and prove that you are in fact innocent, then I will go back and delete any video that involves your name on this channel. And I will not put another video out about you. Come on, that's got to be enough to draw you into this, surely. And one of the best parts about this is simply the fact that neither of us have to pretend that we actually have a film crew, like you said. <laughs> Yeah, so you get to do this from the comfort of your own home where you put out your daily gameplay content anyway. And if you've got nothing to hide, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. All I ask is that you simply show your monitors, all of them, your whole setup, anything that is on top of your desk, anything that could potentially be under your desk and anything that could potentially be plugged into your computer. And as I said, I will be keeping an eye on your aim throughout this period. And if you do manage to do it and there are no snaps whatsoever and you are able to maintain your stats over a 12 month period at least your name is cleared and i will remove any video related to you on this channel and i will also not post any future videos that is of course unless you decide to pop up a cheat menu on stream but then that's another story in itself but it's simple enough to do set up the cameras prove your innocence and then if there are in fact any suspicious clips i'll keep them logged and i will contact you directly somehow and i can send you the clips and you can have the opportunity to explain directly to me what is happening within them clips and explain them to the best of your ability and if you are in fact able to explain any clips that do come across as suspicious then fair enough so you've covered yourself with all the cameras pointing at every single part of your setup you can then cover yourself by having a direct contact with me where you then get to analyze the clips yourself and give a full explanation for anything that I do find across that time period. So what are you waiting for? I think you should accept this offer if you've got nothing to hide. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree. And guys, quickly before we go, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the like button, follow me on Twitter. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. P -p -p Peace!